Hey guy, matter don't wear her tie. <laughs> As Tinubu's loyalist and popular Fuji musician, Ainde lament hardship under uh, Tinubu's uh, government. Says Nigerians are crying. Nigerians are going through a lot. Wotsu Ainde, who is well known as a strong loyalist of President Tinubu, he's seen crying during a live performance while singing about how Tinubu's performance has disappointed Nigerians so far. The popular Fiji musician Ainde Masha, popularly known as uh, Ultimate K1, okay, the Ultimate, has lamented the current economic hardship that President Bola Tinubu's government has subjected Nigerians to within his first eight months in office. Ainde, who is well known as a strong loyalist of President Tinubu, he is seen crying during a live performance while singing about how Tinubu's performance has disappointed Nigerians so far. The veteran singer said Tinubu was supported because they thought he would save Nigeria from the mess the previous administrations made. But that's unfortunately, Nigerians are suffering. He said, Dear Nigerians, I said, Make I greet you. I had told you that if Tinubu assumed office, we, the citizens, would be blessed. I said the poor will have money. God would answer people's prayer. It is true. I know assured you can do it. But my leader, see what people are saying now. The citizens are suffering now. Please, find something to do about it. Fuer and the dollars have become expensive. In the country, people earning salaries cannot use it for anything meaningful. But I know as you, you, my leader, that you have pity. You are blessed by God before you decide to be Nigerian president. But please find something to do about Nigeria's problems. The citizens are crying. They are wailing. The, the sufferingness, the struggle is getting much. The singer also pleaded with Tinubu not to be carried away by deception. He urged him to listen to the wailing of the citizens and immediately find lasting solutions, the plight of Nigerians. He continued, There is no light. Why did it turn this way? Please, let's find solution to these problems. Please don't pay deaf ears to people with uh, wailings and struggles. Nigerian people are vexed. The businessmen in this country are also angry. See what dollars turned into. The issue of kidnappings in Nigeria is now something else. Sarah reporters had also reported how the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party and the former Nambra State Governor Peter Obi said that President Tinubu should be in the Guinness World Record for costing Nigerians the most hardship, untold hardship. Okay, so guys, I don't hear the matter. So, thank God this is not coming from President Bola Ahmed Tinubu highlights. President Tinubu, the best thing to happen to APC supporters. They are enjoying a renewed hope, a renewed hope that started from where Buari high helpless administration stopped, as promised by the Mr. President, the hypocrisy. This is just the beginning, giving him time like another eight years. He will face Nigeria. Nigerians are not just crying. We are dying in numbers, from insecurity to high inflation rate. I am even more surprised that Nigerians have not taken to streets to demand a better representation. If you guys don't know how to fix the problem, resign immediately. Peter B is being taught a lesson. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. My tribesman must rule whether he is competent or not. Okay, someone has, uh, someone dropped that one as well. Point of correction, sir. We, 
your your lawyer citizens are standing by you we must learn a lesson in case you don't know we are supporting him for the second journey after they remove the subsidy without any alternative the arts they are not ready to listen okay he will challenge the narrative when he received ego ego okay uh ultimate allow him face he's just barely eight months in office as at least from now six years he will face all of you in the era see these are reactions from nigerians you know this government made a very a uh, costly costly mistake whether we like it or not good and fine they said the first subsidy is going to be removed because there are some persons some individuals who are pocketing the first subsidy and i want to ask this question since it's, it's about eight months now that this first subsidy has been removed what are they doing with the money because the federal government of nigeria led by president uh, bola metinubo has not come out to say Ah, this is uh, this and that and that. You understand? He has not come out to tell us what they are using the first subsidy money for, the one they have saved. And he told us that, you know, removing the first subsidy will make life better. Now, he went on to remove first subsidy on the day of your inauguration without alternatives on ground. That is why we are suffering today. You see, eh, when, when some people, when they do like say they know where we you understand? And when people try to tell them, this is not how to go about this, so they go tell you, say, make it go, make it go sit down. You understand? The government did not take the step in the right way. It was a good step though, but it was not taken in the right way. You understand? Before you should have, before he he removed that first subsidy he would have you know made some provisions or grant to make sure that the first subsidy you know uh, even when it's removed it will not have that die impact on nigerians you went on to remove first subsidy without any impact okay now it's like this what is the way forward so guys I beg, make me here.